your defense has more holes than my old gym sock. Poop! You promised you'd clean up your room! Sure, Dad. I'll get right on it. As soon as I can dump. Uh, after the halftime show. I score a three-pointer! <laughs> my room's gonna be cleaner than yours, Coop, because I have help. Say hello, Mr. Maid. Mr. Maid! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're so happy about cleaning, because there'll be no sports or video games until I can see at least 60% of your bedroom floor. <laughs> Is that one point or two? Hmm. I'll see you in a month. No sweat. I got a system. is perfectly tidy. Mr. May, we've earned a yummy treat. <laughs> there, that was easy. Too easy. Dennis! Cat must be using some kind of dimension-altering alien technology. It could be hiding almost anything in there. Weapons? A whole army? This could be the staging ground for the cat invasion. Hmm. You up for a little exploring? You bet. But if we're going in, we gotta go in prepared. <laughs> I don't understand why your brother is such a pack rat. Maybe you should set a good example for him and throw out some of your junk. My junk? Uh, good idea, Millie. Uh, let's see. Gorilla mask? No, oh, that could come in handy. Paperclip holder? Oh, oh, I can't throw that out. You made that for me. <laughs> uh, gee, I, I can't seem to throw away anything. Well, if you can't throw anything away, then you don't need that. My waste paper basket? Well, I guess that is the one thing I don't need. I'll take it to the curb right now. La la la! Bye bye, trash! <sighs> Whoa! Love what he's done with the ceiling! Let's see what's behind door number one. Maybe this is where the weapons of cat destruction are stashed. without that old scratching post. If I throw it out, Daddy will have to buy Mr. Cat a nice brand new one. <laughs> Jackpot! Wicked technology! Imagine if we entered some of this stuff in the science fair. Forget that. Let's start smashing! Oh, 
It's all gone. No more stuff. No more good stuff. <laughs> are trespassing. Regular dumping hours at the Bootsville Landfill are from 7 to 7. Bootsville Landfill? <laughs> well, it sure ain't the perfume counter at Massive Mart. <sighs> and it's not the end of the world, either. Welcome to the Old Junk Roadshow. First up, an extremely rare and valuable collector's item. <laughs> a Bronze Age Egyptian papyrus receptacle. Ooh, where did you find this priceless antique? In a garbage dump. <laughs> the thing some crazy people will throw out. <laughs> garbage Egyptian <laughs> money. Uh, Dennis and I are gonna <laughs> shoot some hoops. <gasps> Are you kidding? There could be a fortune in this junk! <laughs> uh. 
identified. It's not one of ours. Looks like it's going down. The secret handshake is accompanied by the secret greeting. Hmm. Ha! You call that a secret handshake? Looks like you are shooing away a hornet! The loyal order of the Bootsville Badgers will never let you join with such a lousy technique. Elbow higher! Extend the little pinky! Voila! Oh, thanks for the tip, Henry. I didn't know you're a member. You still don't. A badger must never reveal his identity outside of the den. I was never here. Okay. Waka hey! Oi, oi, oi! We found the impact crater. Heat signature is off the grid. Bingo. Huh? Code blue. A civilian is entering the no go zone. I'm here to read the meter. What meter? How about I ask the questions? He must be from the Badger's top secret membership committee. He's come in disguise to see if I'm badger-worthy. Hey, what's the big idea? I don't want ice cream. Yeah. I was just... Whoa, you guys are Black Ops special agents. You will remember nothing. <laughs> uh, that's a cell phone. Oh, uh, he blinked. So, I take it you're here to deal with our little alien problem next door? Okay now, kids, best behavior. I want to make a good impression. <laughs> I thought I nailed it. Are you from Area 102? I hear it's twice as top secret as Area 51. What? <laughs> no, there's no such place. Area 102. Where'd you get that crazy idea? It made the cover of last month's Conspiracy Theory Digest. I'm Dennis, and it's a thrill to meet you. Special Agent Fudge Ripple, this is Butterscotch. Neapolitan is Unrecon. What'd you tell them that for? Now we have to come up with new secret code names. Dang! Where'd I put that memory eraser? No! I want to cherish this memory. I promise I won't say a word to anyone. And don't you forget it. The slightest leak could jeopardize our mission. My lips are sealed. Nobody wants to be rid of that alien menace more than I do. <sighs> Wait! You better not touch that! It's probably... <laughs> Defective? Oh, I forgot the badger posture of submission. Icky, icky, icky. Whoop. Whoa, that is one hideous dolly. It's not a dolly, silly. Wow. Yeah, it's alive. <laughs> Extraterrestrial presence confirmed. So long, cat. Good riddance. Spill. When's the invasion coming? How should I know? Ask my sister's cat. He's the alien. Ha! You think we're falling for the old shave a cat painted purple routine? We humans are intelligent life forms, pal. Waka hi! Oi, oi, oi! Nailed it. Where's your homeworld? Which solar system? What galaxy? How about I ask the questions? Where's the cat? Finally, I can tell Coop. Wow! They even left a cat double behind. Those guys are clever. <laughs> Those guys are knuckleheads. Well, I'm sure they'll be released after questioning. <laughs> right. We gotta rescue them before they end up in an alien dissection video. We can't just save Millie. We have to bring them all back. 
if we can even find them. The exact location of Area 102 is ultra top secret. The property of Area 102. If found, please return to number 12 Pine Ridge Road, third secret base on the right. Those knuckleheads. Fascinating. They prefer feeding on pancakes rather than live goats. <laughs> hey, cut that out. What are you tickles? <laughs> Ow! A full anatomical dissection will help us figure out how to fight your invasion forces. Aw, oh, come on. Just take an x-ray. That'll prove I'm human. And we can skip the slicing and dicing. OK. We take Route 310 to Empire City, transfer to the 501 bus, then the 112, then the number 9. Then it's a three-day hike over the forgotten pass to... Or we can take a direct flight. The extraterrestrial is trying to escape. Wrong! The human being is trying to escape. No human could bust those moves. I'll take that as a compliment. Put him and his family in maximum security with the others. Okay, we're over the base. One of us will have to create a diversion, while the other... Wait! How about a quick driving lesson? What is it? Well, it's unidentified, it's flying, and it appears to be an object of some sort. You know, we really should make up a catchy nickname for when we spot one of those things. We'll get on that right after we shoot it down. I'm not sure I do either, Millie. Elaborate initiation rituals are one thing, but dissecting my son to poke around his insides, that's uh... where I put my foot down. Dad, these guys aren't badgers. They're black ops agents who think we're aliens. Huh. Well, that would explain the snazzy clubhouse and the dissecting. <laughs> Well, what do you know? We forgot to lock the door. Let me have a turn. Get away. I'm next. Let me finish. Quit hogging. Take your elbow out of my eye. Come on, you guys. It's my turn. Why I... Hold your fire. I come in peace. That's Dennis. <laughs> I have a target. No! <laughs> They've escaped! Huh? Get back! Uh, I've got a powerful alien squid! <gasps> back, I say! Dennis! Coop? I've lost power! I'm going down! It's okay. I took the laser defenses offline. You're clear to land. Where? On those pointy rocks? Or the other pointy rocks? All I see are pointy rocks! Oh, right! Uh, give me a second. It's nothing but balsa wooden canvas held together with airplane glue and duct tape. My, this was just an elaborate hoax by a couple of precocious kids. Not again. What? Hey! I can't believe at least one of them wasn't an alien. Actually, you know, he did help save you and your family. Maybe he deserves a pass this time. <sighs> Keep looking. I'm sure they're out there. Not that anyone would ever believe you. Ah! 
while you destroy our planet. You should be ashamed of yourself, you nasty total stranger I've never met before in my life. Come on, girls. You can all earn your eco-warrior badges by ratting them out to the police. I wasn't destroying the planet. I was saving it. From Cat. Hello! What Millie's ugly cat? Are you ready for your photo opportunity? Oh! Heroic Greeny Girl Rescues Cat? Says here the mayor is nominating Phoebe for a Medal of Valor for being brave enough to touch something so hideous. Oh yeah, real heroic. It's not like she was risking her life saving the planet from an alien doom machine. <laughs> Don't believe the newspaper, Mr. Cat. You're handsome, not wow. hideous. Oh, Coop, it's for you. We're here to investigate reports of an explosion in Bootsville Forest yesterday afternoon. That's him, yeah. officers! Hi, Coop! <laughs> the greedy girls are here! We're gonna start earning our do good and air badges today. Millie? You live here? With him? Hm. I've still never seen him before in my life. Hello, Millie. Guess who already got her do-gooder badge for rescuing your ugly kitty? Yeah, that's nice, Phoebe. But I'm gonna do so many good deeds, I'll earn a triple platinum do-gooder badge. Hm. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll make you proud. Congratulations on raising at least one child who isn't headed for reform school. I risk my life to save the planet, and what do I get? Picture in the paper? A medal? No! They give me three months of kitty playground cleanup duty. Gross! Everything those little kids touch is coated in crusty boogers. <sighs> A simple thank you, Coop, would be nice. Thank you, Coop. In advance. Here goes another Saturday afternoon. Can't you be more like your little sister? Oh, where did I go wrong? With Coop, I mean. What? Not you, Pumpkin. You deserve a reward. Oh, why don't you tell me all about those good deeds on the way to the ice cream parlor, huh? Coop, no TV or video games for three months. <gasps> I'm done saving the world. But Coop, you can't quit. 
You can't leave the world at the mercy of Cat's sinister agenda. Why not? Being a hero is nothing but trouble. Why step up if all I get is... Why can't you be more like your sister? 302? I'm gonna set a new greenie girl record for helping little old ladies cross the street. 303? Oh, slow down, dear. I'm not as spry as I used to be. You mind? You're blocking the light. Dennis? Burt 
Rottenberger helps Old Lady Cross Street 3,963 times. Greeny Girls Group rescue hideous mammal thought to be feline. Northern Lights pretty? Oh, well, better an unsung hero than no hero at all. Here's your newspaper, Dad. Why, thank you, Coop. Ah, don't mention it. Yeah! Shoot the girl! Hey, girls! Hey, Luz! Not girls, Dennis. They're called Wahinis. And you're waving all wrong. I can't wait to try out our boards for real. <laughs> Wipe out! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Dad! Surf's up! I'll be there in a minute! Daddy, have you seen Mr. Cat? No, but he's been here recently, and more than once! Mr. Cat! <laughs> <laughs> That cat. You. Hmm. There you are. Oh. Uh. Hurry up, Dad! Uh. Come on, Daddy. What's taking so long? <laughs> oh, right. Let's catch some waves. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Let's go swimming! <laughs> Doesn't the water look inviting? Ah, uh, better limber up before we hit the waves, D-Man! Swimming! <laughs> Hi, Coop! Could you rub some sunscreen on my back, please? Uh, gotta go wax my board. Bye! Stop kicking sand on me, Burton Burger! Oh, hello, Millie. Having a nice time at the beach? We sure are, Mrs. Menson. Maybe we should take a lesson before we try this out for real. Relax. Surfing's just like skateboarding. Only the sidewalk can move in all directions and sometimes rise up and smash down on top of you. It'll be easy. Hey, daddy O's, chill out while this old surfer dude shows you how to ride the tide. They didn't call me chairman of the board in college for nothing. Haha, <laughs> dig it? <laughs> Wasn't that like eons ago? No problemo, Cooperino. It's like riding a bike. Come on! <laughs> Just like riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10 from this judge. Hey, Gramps. Maybe you should try a safer activity, like building a sandcastle. Hi, cool. ah, Baby! Want me to rub some sunscreen on your back? No! I'm allergic to coconut oil! Mm. Uh, maybe we look cool enough just standing here with our boards. I mean, why go in the water and spoil the illusion? Check out the poser! Come on out and catch a wave, cat boy, so we can watch you get totally totaled! <laughs> <laughs> Stealing our wahinis. Come on, Dennis. Uh, Surf uh, up. Cowabunga! I'll teach you to dog paddle. <laughs> I mean, cat paddle. Mr. Cat, the water's that way. 
I'm afraid cats and water don't mix, sweetie. Why don't you give me a hand with the sandcastle, huh? Okay. I'll be the beautiful princess who holds the reins of power, and you can be the ceremonial doddering old king. figure out a way to outcool those guys. That's it! Kite surfing! Ah, Kitty! Wanna come swimming with me, Cool? We can share my snorkel. Gotta go uh, shopping! We need something bigger and less lame. Something way bigger! Where should we put the next window, Princess? Uh, Millie? Whoa. Wow. This is where I'll put the revolting peasants. Are you okay, old lady? Hey, Mrs. Munson? Back, bagger! You got some nerve! Get my hopes up like that! Oh, lovely dungeon, Millie! Hmm? We got a beach beluga in distress. You're the one who's gonna need rescuing. the whole beach to himself. Sure not because he loves the water. Huh? It's a UFO! Ugh. It's an unidentified foul-smelling object. There's only one thing in the entire galaxy smells that nasty. Then it rhymes with coop. She's gonna be turned into a giant litter box! <gasps> Dad and Millie are still down there! Come on, Dennis! <laughs> it's unmanned! It's uncatted! <gasps> the guidance system is locked onto Bootsville Bay! Too late! It's gonna dump! I have no idea how to unlock its guidance system! Dennis, you're a genius! How'd you do that? It has a picture of a lock above it. Right, of course. <laughs> Set another destination. Some place this load won't do any harm. We can't drop it in the creek or on the mall. The soccer pitch? How about there? Perfect! New dump site locked in!
frisky bits must be ultra high in fiber. Oh, better get a move on, Coop. You'll be late for school. Don't worry, Dad. I got a feeling there won't be any school today. Has anyone seen Mr. Cat? Mr. Cat! I quit. Oh, yeah. Don't you just love these crisp fall mornings? I'd sure hate to be hairless on a day like this. <laughs> See you after school, Mr. Cat! <laughs> Whoa! It's like a greenhouse inside a sauna! <laughs> Can't go on. Too hot. Oh. Save yourself. <clears throat> Leave the soda. Mm. Okay. Would you like to come over? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Sorry, uh, we can't make it. Our bathing suit liners chafe us. <laughs> Later. <laughs> you said you never talk about the chafing. And who turns down a pool party on the hottest day of the decade? When it comes to avoiding Phoebe, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Hi, Dad, I'm home too hot to talk. Are there ice pops in the freezer? Dad? You okay? He doesn't look okay. Looks like a textbook case of heat stroke to me. Heat stroke? Huh? I wish you can recover from that. Then, what is it, Dad? It was my eighth birthday party. Huh? Huh? A day just like today. The temperature soaring, everyone having fun. Hey, that's you as a kid! Not for long. This is the day the innocents died. Watch. It's hot enough to bake the stink off the South Park! Frozen. Dwayne, Dizzy, and I took the full brunt of that horrible sight. A four-leaf clover. Looks like this is my lucky day. Was that what I think it was? I'm always up for bizarre creature sightings, but this is the one time I wish it was a hoax. I wish it was, too. But it was all too real. To this day, Dwayne can't even look at a birthday cake. Noisemakers send Dizzy into twitching fits. And a heat wave gives me the chills. <laughs> if the temperature reaches the teeny bikini threshold, that horrible bit of neighborhood history will repeat itself. <gasps> <laughs> My only advice to you is live. Live, darn it! Well, there's still time. Because, like me, your childhood memories are about to be scarred. <laughs> Forever. Guy the Weather Guy here. It's another cool fall day in Empire City. But in nearby Bootsville, the localized heat wave continues. <laughs> uh, that Mother Nature is one wacky lady. <laughs> oh, come on. How can a heat wave hit us and nobody else? It's barometrically impossible. Normally, yeah. But I've had experience with the impossible. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing it, but he's doing it. And we're gonna find out how he's doing it. Uh-huh. Hey, Dizzy, Bert, you better call Dwayne. The bikini is on the line. I repeat, the bikini is on the line! <laughs> Gadget, but I can't make it out. Try these. They're my Mega Zoom's binoculars. Just feel the weight. 
You carry these around in your shorts all the time? Well, duh, they're too heavy to wear around my neck. Hmm. Busted. Cat's the one bringing the heat, all right. Check it out. So that's his plan. He's gonna make the world a hotter place for alien cats to bask in. And you can bet the cat invasion is next. But worse than that, he's pushing us one step closer to... <gasps> the teeny bikini threshold! We have to stop him! I don't want to end up like your dad! I like birthday cake and noisemakers! Get a hold of yourself! We have to think! I don't care how advanced Cat's technology is. He can't remote control the sun. So what's he controlling? Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I know where it is. Take a look. The water tower! <laughs> oh, man. Do we have time to stuff our pants with ice pops? No time. And we ate them all. Come on! Hello? Come over for a swim. The water is so cool. La, 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 la. Can't hear you. La, 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 la. <sighs> Came as fast as we could. We're freaking out here, man! Are you sure we have to do this? I don't know, I don't know! But I'm sure of one thing. If we don't take this chance to conquer our fear, our fear will conquer us! Whoa. Heavy. <sighs> Water. Water. <sighs> Whoa. It's a satellite transmitter. So that's how he's doing it. <laughs> Time to throw cold water all over Cat's plan. Brace yourselves. We are nearing the event horizon. The point of no return. The teeny bikini threshold. Oh man, it's deja vu all over again. <laughs> Is that a noisemaker? If any noise comes out of that noisemaker, I'm freaking out, man! I don't think I can do this. I have a billion dollar bowling ball company to think about. And a family. And three turtles. Dwayne, you can do this! We have to do this! Don't you see? This is our chance to end the suffering! To stand up and tell the world that old Lady Munson and her barely bikini body isn't gonna haunt us anymore! to finally have our birthday cake and eat it too. <laughs> this is going way too far, Cat. A lot of innocent people are gonna suffer because of you and your son, Magnifier. Yeah, speeding up global warming will have terrible consequences for the entire planet. Crops will fail, the polar ice cap will melt, cities will be left underwater. Actually, I was thinking more about the suffering caused by seeing old lady Munson in a bikini. Oh yeah, Duh. don't remind me. <laughs> Come on, Coop. Stop moving around and take out that transmitter. We're six degrees of separation from the teeny bikini threshold. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. <laughs> Can I borrow these a sec? <laughs> Five degrees and rising! Four! Three! Two! One! It's happening! Powerful hot today! But this teeny weeny bikini will sure keep the baggage cool, eh, boys? We can do this! There's too much skin! I can't look! No, but Cat can! Throw me the binoculars! Okay, but if you drop them, you... Just throw them! Now! <laughs> oh, no, you don't! You caused this horror, Cat! Now look at it! Look at what you've done! when I was...
is getting set to bake off some of this psoriasis. <gasps> <laughs> you see? We did it! Everything's gonna be okay from here on out. <laughs> oh. Birthday cake never tasted so good! <laughs> oh, tastes like victory! I love you, man! No, I love you, man! <laughs> <laughs> Cool outside, but still nice and tropical inside. Yeah, who needs BB when we got our own heated indoor pool? <laughs> Thanks, Cat! <laughs> well, class, I hope you all enjoyed that terrifying documentary on global warming. And on behalf of my generation, I'd like to say, oops, our bad. <laughs> now then. Your assignment is to be more eco-friendly at home. And to give you a little extra incentive, the student whose household is the most environmentally friendly will be awarded this solar-powered electric bike. Whoa! Eat my environmentally friendly dust cat! Better get inside, girls. I'm so hot, I'm causing global warming all on my own. <laughs> Hi, ho, Glitterman! <laughs> <laughs> and it has flames of the side, so it's really fast. Mr. Gerber is awarding points for reducing, reusing, and recycling projects, and he'll track how much electricity we use with these. We just plug it into the wall, and it lets us know how energy efficient our home is. Oh, man! We gotta make that fuzzy bunny happy! <laughs> Farewell, energy-wasting gaming system. Battle ball is better for the environment. So are blankets. We can also install energy-saving light bulbs, use the clothesline instead of the dryer. Ha! <laughs> you call that saving energy? I call it losing. We're recycling our old appliances and find brand new energy savior ones. Oh yeah? Well, so are we. Use the sun, sweetie. It's Mother Nature's hair dryer. <laughs> Replacing our hot water heater with solar panels will really make those fuzzy bunnies smile. Way ahead of you, Bert! <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. My recycling project will put us over the top. Way ahead of you, Coop! <laughs> <laughs> we better get started! <laughs> <laughs> Up your face, Burtonberger! You're cruising for a losing. Dream on, Henry. The Burtonbergers have not yet begun to fight. I mean, conserve energy. Keep talking. My wind generator will turn all that hot air into free electricity. <laughs> My pedal-powered machinator pounds plastic bottles into bricks you can build stuff with. Poster Rex eats kitchen scraps and turns them into rich, loamy soil. Up uh, both your faces, Burden Burgers!
Panda? Well, it can't be my new eco-friendly <laughs> alarm clock. He ate my cereal. <laughs> into our dads. No! This madness has to end! We're gonna live like the pioneers, Millie. It doesn't get any greener than that. But, Daddy, what if I have to go to the little girl's room? Here you go. Oh, I'm gonna ask Mrs. Munson to adopt me and Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat! Hey, Dad, we decided to team up. We figure we can share that cool e-bike. The methane from my composter can run the mallets of Coop's machining. Do what you gotta do, fellas, but I'm still gonna beat Henry. Hey, Bert, how many bunnies are you making cry today, huh? Funny thing about that, the greener we get, the more power we use. I'm beginning to suspect sabotage! Sabotage? Hold on now, Bert. Just who are you accusing of sabotage? Mr. Cat! Cat? Mrs. Munson says she'll adopt us. Sabotage? Cat? The two do go together. And where's he been lately? It's not like him to lay low for so long. We better find him. But first, I have to use the shovel. Duh. Dennis, take a look at this! Uh, I don't think I really want to. Not that, this! <gasps> Dad was right! Sabotage! A communication dish! Cap is needed to coordinate the invasion forces. Come on, Dennis, let's shut it down. Your house is about to take off! Huh? Oh no! You're turning into a 
giant electromagnet! Some wires crossed. Next time I install solar panels, I'll read the instructions. Ha! Instructions? That's for amateurs! <laughs> Let me try! Still my turn! Your turn's taking too long! I still don't get how you won the contest, Norn. Easy! We haven't paid the power bill for a couple months, so they shut it off. Dude, it's my turn on the bike. Oh, I'm riding! I am! Let go! You let go! Trust us, guys. You won't get anywhere fighting over it. Why don't you try sharing? Uh... <laughs> Seriously, where do you dudes get these bad ideas? No fair, dude. How come you get the half of the seat? <laughs> <laughs> The score is tied for seconds to go in the championship game. Come on, first go Beagles! My grandma got more hustle than you! The orders hit the ball. Kid with the skin rash passes to a delinquent whose looks I don't trust. But wait, that good for nothing Burger makes the steal! That's my boy! Harley's underwear. Whoa, dude, that's like a total insult to my tidy whities mm, Sorry, Coop. It's not safe to be around you right now. <laughs> Move to Denver Lake, why don't you? Chow to head, chump, dimwit, dodo, lockwit, mutton head, nincompoop, netwit. Sorry I had to ditch you, Coop. Uh, I don't blame you. I can't believe I did something that stupid. At least you made it home. Ah! <laughs> <Acid hairballs! laughs> Where does a hairless cat even get hairballs? <laughs> I'm in no mood, you whiskerless weenie, so just drop it. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, Dennis. He wants us to go upstairs. <laughs> He's probably got something planned up there. Well, guess what? I'm not falling for it. How'd he know you'd go that way? That's it. Game on! Set that up so fast. Ah! Huh? <laughs> Twin. <laughs> 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 
go. Dennis? We are the Beagles, mighty Beagles. We're off the leash. Whoop, whoop, off the leash. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hey, sport. All excited about the big game this afternoon? Excited about losing? Uh-oh, nerves are getting DA. I know the Timberlake otters are tough, but you can take them, sport. Gotta think positive. Okay, that was weird. Hey, Coop, let's kick the ball around. We gotta be ready to kick some otter tail. But the game was... No way! Gotta check something! Huh? It's 9.30! 9.30 this morning! Hmm. It's a time machine! That's why there's two cats! Two cats? Time machine? <laughs> the cat from the future must not be here yet! Are you feeling okay? Come on, Dennis! <gasps> Get back! That's not me! Huh? Hey, it's me from this morning. I I'm you from this afternoon. Pleased to meet me. I'm not buying it. You're some trick of cats. Here, check it out. Three freckles on our right big toe. You are me. That means, uh, cat's got a time machine. Hey, if you're me from the future, how's the big game turn out? Uh, you kicked the winning point. Sweet. Sweet. Into your own goal. What? How could you be such a doofus? Hey, who are you calling a doofus? Me, that's who. Uh, wait, okay, I take that back. Anyway, that's only the half of it. When you get home, there'll be two cats waiting to ambush you. Oh, man, this is gonna be the worst day ever. Was gonna be, until we got the ultimate do-over machine. Huh? The do-over? No, bad idea. Change one thing and everything could change. Who knows what could happen? Just lay low and leave everything to you. Uh, mm, I mean me. <laughs> Us? Kid with the skin ran passes to a delinquent whose looks I don't trust. Huh. But wait, that good for nothing person will get my He's our man. Kick those otters in the camp. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yep. And just like I said, while you were gone, another cat showed up. Then our fun has just begun. <gasps> we set it to appear in my room two hours ago where the cat can't see us. No, Coop. And Coop, time travel's very dangerous. Small variations on any action could end up causing change on an interdimensional level. Don't you read any science fiction? <laughs> <laughs> huh? He won't know what hit him. Well, Dennis, we're home from the soccer game. <laughs> <laughs> Missing something, cat. <laughs> and here's some for you. Christmas this year. You can run, but we know exactly where you're going. Well, you mean where they already went. Whatever. <laughs> if they weren't so evil, I'd feel sorry for them. Jumping back and forth in time. Who knows what kind of anomalies you might be creating every time you. Ah! Anomalies? Huh? Ah. I don't know what you're talking about. Time travel is serious business. Okay, okay, you're right. I promise to stop goofing around with time. Right after I go back to the day Millie brought Cat home and stop her from ever finding that purple freak in the first place. See you later, Coop. 
Or sooner. Or whatever. No, help. Cat won't be seeing you later. PU Dad really needs to clean down here. Oh boy, how many cats does Millie have now? Coming here, Katniss, right away, oh high and mighty ruler. What happened to me? Katniss, right away, oh high and mighty ruler. What happened to me? <laughs> this is humiliating. Why am I sucking up to that purple pest? <gasps> no! Dude, where's your training collar? More, Harley! I'm if King Cat catches you without it, he'll throw you into the cat ball of correction. And then they'll kick you around, and around, and around, and around. It'll be awesome for us to watch. Listen, I I'm not... Kill me without a collar! Kill me without a collar! Great shot, dude. I gotta go back in time and fix this. No way! get carried away. Big M makes the decisions around here. Big M? Well, well, well. Look who the cat's dragged in. Millie, I never thought I'd 
be so glad to see you. Those kung fu lessons really paid off. Didn't they? Take them to the toy room. King Cat has been looking for us for months. Then you just happen to escape and come here. No human has ever escaped once they've been collared. You're a big fat fibber. I'm not that coop. I came here in a time machine. <laughs> right. Tell me another fairy tale. Still waiting for my foot massage. King Cat's on television. How did this happen? He must have been wearing that collar too long. Don't you remember? They had the element of surprise. People thought they were just weird looking cats. Then went. The training colors went on. Nothing's been the same since. At least we have each other. <laughs> you just made me throw up in my mouth. <laughs> that cat needs to be fixed. <sighs> I can fix it. What? You're a vet now? <laughs> Not just cat. I can undo the whole invasion, but I gotta get back to the time machine. It's our only chance. <laughs> Where is this time machine? In the basement of our house. Our house? Cat headquarters? I'm sure King Cat would just love us to waltz right in. He's trying to lead us into a trap. That's why me and Coop are going in alone. <gasps> if he's telling the truth, the cats will never expect it. And if it's a trap, you'll be the first to be cat food. You guys can be our backup. It's time for a cat fight. some sort of trick. Three big toe freckles. You really are me. That doesn't change anything. I mustn't disobey King Cat. <laughs> what? I can't believe you. Uh, I, I mean, me, whoever. How can you live with yourself? How can you sit by his side day after day and watch the human race be humiliated like this? You have to join the resistance. I know you've got the fight in you. I know you better than anyone. <laughs> ashamed of ourselves. 
Go ahead, cat. Get it over with. <laughs> Run, Goop! <laughs> Run and put this right like I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> That's the me I know. <laughs> <laughs> was right. We're better off not changing history. Aw, oh, come on. He'll be out of our lives forever. Trust me, I've seen that future, and you do not want to go there. Get the ball, will you, son? <sighs> Only one of me. I must have arrived back in the future before I started all the time traveling. Hope everything else is back to normal. Huh? Mr. Cat is just the cutest kitty in the whole world. So far, so good. And ugly. Sorry, I had to ditch you, Coop. Dennis, did I just pull the championship game? Big time. <laughs> yes! Everything is back to normal. Ugh. Okay, some things are different. <laughs> Cat, get away from there! <laughs> he doesn't recognize it. That means the cat from the future isn't here yet. Or maybe things have changed and he never gets here at all. Boy, time travel sure gets my brain in a twist. Time travel? You're kidding, right? Because that would be pretty dangerous in the wrong hands. Oh. Or paws. Oh, no! Please don't hurt my cool bumper car, Cat! I would be so sad if you wrecked it. <laughs> <laughs> If you knew what you just did, you'd freak. You freak. <laughs> it's great to be home. Stop bothering Mr. Cat. Probably curled up having a nap somewhere. I haven't seen him since yesterday. It's just like he's disappeared. <laughs> Coop, did you see the morning paper? These are eyewitness drawings of a creature that's prowling the Bootsville sewers, and I know what it is. Check it out. Whoa. Dennis, what? It's the sewer croc baby. What? Flushed down the toilet when he was only a hatchling, the sewer croc baby navigates the subterranean tunnels hunting for its prey. His forlorn cries can be heard echoing through the plumbing. Uh, it's an urban myth, and not even a good one. The sewer croc baby is real, Coop. Like the giant green jungle yeti, or the five-legged moose monster of the Yukon, and the junior high emo vampires. Right, real. Like those. I believed you when you said your sister's cat was an evil alien. How is this any different? Well, for one, cat's real. So is the sewer croc baby. Okay, okay. If you really think that thing is out there, I'll believe you. 
Great, let's gear up. Okay, Dennis, here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> this time, I'm calling the shots. You're the wingman. Okay, okay. Nice get up, cat boy. Looks like you're in an all plumber sports league. Yeah. <laughs> We're going looking for the sewer croc baby, a monster that prowls the sewers. Let's move out. Wait for us, dudes. We can film the documentary in search of the sewer croc baby. Yeah, and the DVD featurette, the making of in search of the sewer croc baby. Baby or Bigfoot? If it's an aquatic environment, sewer croc baby hands down. But on dry land, I'd give Bigfoot the edge. Oh, what if he dukes it out with the Loch Ness monster? Well, technically, neither one has dukes. <sighs> Whoa! I just heard footsteps up ahead. Wet footsteps. Four wet footsteps! Four scaly wet baby footsteps! I think you're hearing what you want to hear, Dennis. How can you... Dudes, I see something! There! No, dude, it's there! That's it! No, it's right there! It's over here! Where is it? I don't see it! It's just the shadows! Tell that to Lord, dude! The silicon baby got him! We're next, dudes! We got a run! <laughs> Found it! Where's my reward? That's not Mr. Cat! That thing's a cat? Well, uh, close enough. It's a dead ringer. Fork over my gajillion dollars. What gajillion dollars? I offered a reward for finding Mr. Cat. No price is too high. Huh? Oh, boy. I might be a few dozen zeros short in the reward department. I found the thing! I found it! it. Oh, it. <laughs> think we lost it? Huh? I don't know. But I think we just found its nest. Kind of a messy eater, isn't he? Table manners of a baby, crushing jaws of a crocodile. Poor Lorne and Harley. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> 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 nice eyeballs, Dennis. They're like the size of hubcaps. Huh? But the sewer croc baby got you. How did you escape? Huh, there's no such thing as a sewer croc baby. No, he's real. We found its nest. You found our nest, dudes. This is where we hang out. If there was some sewer monster on the loose, we'd be the first to know about it. Shh. Listen, what's that noise? I hear it too. Give it a rest, guys. We're not falling for it again. <laughs> it's real! and ridiculous looking as whatever this thing is. Stop making fun of Mr. Cat! No, 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 no!
Okeku, this is our big chance to get eaten by a sewer monster? No, to catch one. I'll show it to the world. Then everyone will finally believe the sewer croc baby is... Cat? <sighs> you were behind the sewer monster scare all alone? <laughs> Cat, what's this thing for? Draining the world's oceans? Drilling for oil? Putting holes in stuff just for the heck of it? All of the above? <laughs> Weird. Something really has him spooked. Me too. Head for the ladder! No time! We gotta make our own exit! I guess you still think the sewer croc baby is just an urban myth? No way! It's out there somewhere! If you say it's real, that's good enough for me. Thanks, Coop. Next week, we can go track down a giant green jungle yeti? I'll just take a rain check. Computerized sock puller upper. But when your socks are loose and you want them. Hold up, yeah, I know. But I can do that with my hands. Huh. Why you want to be so old in school? Ah! <gasps> Third grade good citizenship award to Ugh, Coop Burtenberger. Hey! The battery should run out any second. <sighs> it's finally... Go! Over? 
Good thing I've been saving my allowance since I was five. I thought it'd be for a BMX bike, not triple glazed windows. Dad, can I have a six month advance on my allowance? Sorry, Coop. I've already advanced you until your last year of college. You'll have to work off what you owe in Henry's store, if that's all right with you, Henry. Welcome, new employee. According to my calculations, it will take you only 376 weekends of working to pay me back. With Coop working at Henry's store, I'll need some weekend help at the House of Swap. Wish I knew who I could hire on such short notice. When do I start, Daddy? You replace me? Like that's ever gonna happen. Okay, Millie. It's high time I show you a thing or two about running the family business. Mr. Cat, you can be my very own special executive assistant. I said, let's roll! <laughs> Goodbye, Coop. Have a great first day. And please don't wreck any of Henry's fancy electronics. <laughs> and where do you think you're going, Mr. Assistant? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> your butt's worth two cents. Oh, yeah? So's your nose. Rockport <laughs> Price is finished! What are you doing? Actually, I started it, so it's kind of my fault. No need for you to take the blame, Coop. Dennis is in charge. He's supposed to be tying you the ropes. He should know better. Ugh. No more fooling around, okay, Coop? Me and my dad always fool around when I help out at the house of swap. That's because your dad isn't a real businessman like my dad is. What's that supposed to mean? You know. My dad just takes his job a lot more seriously than yours does. My dad works just as hard as yours. Coop, you have to work one extra weekend to pay for all those wasted stickers. Ha! And Dennis, you owe me one week's allowance. Ha! And no more hiring! Back to work! Okay, Millie, rule number one in swapping. Never let them know how much you love what they've got to swap. <gasps> what do you want for that amazing painting? I gotta have it! Whatever you want, it's yours! That painting's horrible, Daddy. Can't shoot pool. We'll give you an old pair of size 14 boots for it. Take them or leave them. Forget it, kid. Nice not doing business with you. Millie, what are you doing? Don't worry, Daddy. He'll be back. <sighs> that painting would have looked so classy hanging above the mantel. What size did you say those boots were? Solar powered pickle straightener? Check. Musical mitten press? Check. Computerized wart buffing apparatus? Check. I've got a phone order for a pickle straightener. Do we have one in stock? Sure thing, it's right over. Hey, where did it go? Dennis! Don't blame me, I'm just checking the list. It's Coop's job to tell me what's on the shelves. It was here a second ago. Enough! I don't want to see any more blaming or hear any more finger pointing. But if I find out there's one more item missing, you will be fired. Me? But I'm your son. I can't fire Coop. He owes me too much money. Dennis, where'd the electronic toe jam collector go? The battery-operated earwax baller's missing, too. Wow. Goodness, Millie, how did you... I'm opening a new store in some place called China, and I've lined up investors for other emerging market franchises, too. Doesn't the Peruvian house of swap sound catchy? Uh, I think we better slow down a tad, Millie. Oh, you're right, Daddy. You should slow down. Swapping is a young person's game. And now that I'm in charge, you can take an early retirement. <laughs> there, hit play. <laughs> Cat! Something tells me he isn't buffing warts or straightening pickles. What's he up to with all that stuff? I bet he's using the electronics to rebuild that thing we smashed on the tower. I better go investigate, but... You boys better not be goofing off watching DVDs on the security monitors. Where's Coop? 
It's not time for us 30 second break. He's, uh, uh, in the bathroom. Well, you better hurry up, because I overdid it with Grandma's homemade hot sauce again. Oh, I need to get in there fast. <laughs> Uh, he can't hear you because, uh, well, he always covers his ears when he goes. Oh, he does, does he? And I thought I was the only one who does that. <laughs> Here we go again. Back off, cat! I've got a toe gem collector and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> <laughs> for free until he's got a long gray beard. Thanks for finding all the stuff and taking the blame for smashing it all. You saved my two cent butt. That's what pals do, pal. That painting, it speaks to my very soul. Oh, it does, does it? What say I swap you that painting for a coop? But, okay, okay, I'll toss in the jewels and the gold, but that's my final offer. You got yourself a deal. I would have swapped him for just a classy painting. <laughs> well, the way I see it, coop's worth a whole lot more than a painting. Wow, thanks, Dad. I mean, that painting was pretty awesome. You got hosed, Daddy. That was your early retirement fund. Yeah, well, guess I'll just have to keep on swapping. Fine. And now that you have smelly old Coop back, I quit. You were totally holding me back. Come on, Mr. Cat. Big business is boring. We'll go have a nice, exciting tea party. Wow. <laughs> 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 